It will travel well over 48 million miles, carry millions of pounds worth of scientific equipment, and report back from a planet more than halfway to the sun. And the technology that makes all this possible developed not at NASA, but here in a warehouse on an industrial park in Hampshire. Inside being tested is the British-built engine that makes marathon space travel possible. Inside this chamber, three pumps are creating a complete vacuum. It's all to replicate a bit of space here on Earth. That huge machine to test this piece of kit, this one of the four engines that will take the spacecraft to Mercury. The spacecraft in question, Bepi Colombo, a European Space Agency project due for takeoff in 2014. It will head via a roundabout route for Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun. Once there, it will remain in orbit for years, sending back data about the planet, its composition, atmosphere and magnetic field. These, it's hoped, will help explain not just how that planet was formed, but how Earth was too. Bepi Colombo's rocket will blast off like any other, but once in space it will divide, the inner craft emerging to fly independently with an electric engine. Instead of taking fuel with it, the craft will have solar panels. These will create electricity used to strip electrons off atoms of xenon gas. These repelled into space as ions, shooting out at 50 kilometres a second. We're using electrical power to produce the thrust effectively, as opposed to a conventional rocket thrusters that use, they carry a rocket propellant which contains the energy as well as the propellant. So they are fundamentally limited to the velocity with which they can fire the propellant out of the engine. We aren't limited like that and that's why we can make far more efficient use of the amount of propellant. Although the ions fly fast, the thrust they give is still pretty low, about the same as blowing on the hand. Bepi Colombo will take two and a half days to do naught to 60. But after that, with no resistance in the vacuum of space, it should reach an ultimate speed of 26,000 miles an hour, arriving into the orbit of Mercury after a flight of five and a half years. Then it'll use its engines to brake against the gravitational pull of the sun. You would not have been able to get the amount of payload to Mercury with conventional thrusters. Or if you try to do it, your spacecraft would be so big and so heavy and the mission would be so expensive that it would effectively be ruled out. So these kind of, this kind of technology, these kind of rocket thrusters are enabling unique missions. With space exploration increasingly focused on long-haul unmanned missions, highly efficient electric engines are the future. Bepi Colombo, a space pioneer.